any sort of uh, woodwork there. VK2 TPM, VK2 BLQ. Yeah, VK2, BLQ, VK2, TPM. Okay, uh, Stephen, I'm uh, recording this bit of the uh, QSO. Yeah, I, I've used uh, 741s as mic amps in the past, and they're pretty noisy uh, chips. I don't think they were really uh, designed for that. But um, uh, anyway, yeah, it's interesting. If I if I really talk it up, I'll just uh, shoot some video of the meter here. If I really talk it up, then uh, I do get you know reasonable power out of it, but I have to qu shout quite loud. But uh, otherwise, it's... Uh, it's you know just about one watt. So I think a, a little bit extra mic gain would would certainly help. As I mentioned to you, um, uh, I do have a, uh, a an old uh, RF uh, speech processor, so it might be time to, to drag that out. I bought it and I've never used it, but this uh, this could be the opportunity. Anyway, net little rig I think, um, and and great you know for a camping or, or something like that. It's um, it's excellent. Um, do you want to try yours? Uh, obviously, I'll have to use a different uh, transceiver. Uh, VK2 BLQ, VK2 TPM. Yeah, VK2, BLQ, VK2, TPM. You're into the noise a little bit there, Stephen, but uh, at the end you were just fine. Uh, as you say, uh, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a good little little rig. Yeah, I regret uh, I um, uh, followed... Uh, Peter suggested getting the higher frequency one uh, so that you could listen to the Sunday broadcast on it, and, uh, yeah, I regret I've noticed that uh, there's not much on uh, up uh, on the range I've got, but uh, a lot more stations down here, so I think you probably uh, did the right thing. And as you say, the Traveller's Net's probably a good idea. But yeah, what a great rig for a uh, hundred and you know something dollars, hundred and fifty dollars or something. That's um, that's pretty good. I think uh, that as we've observed, it uh, needs a bit more mark gain. But otherwise, um, yeah, it's great. It's very solidly built. I really like these um, these Hammond cases, if that's what they are. I think uh, I think they're a great thing. Oh, one thing I've noticed is um, the uh, the the PL uh, SO two five nine socket on the back. Uh, I find the center uh, socket is quite hard to push my connectors into. Do you know anything about that? I've, I've read that there's a different standard or something for PL259s. Do you know anything about that? VK2 BLQ, VK2 TPM. Drifting a bit here, I notice. There is a change stand. 